This is Noteworthy, a podcast brought to you by the Westford Academy Ghostwriter. We feature impressive musicians from all different grades, exploring their talents and motivations. My name is Patrick Coffey, and recently I got to catch up with Andrew Leung, a singer-songwriter at Westford Academy. I'm Andrew Leung, and I'm a junior here at Westford Academy. How did you learn that you wanted to pursue singing? So, I think it started around fifth grade-ish when I joined on the fifth grade chorus, and it really sort of picked up from there. I started getting into, getting into music a lot, and yeah, I joined a band with some friends for a few years, and yeah, it really catalyzed the whole thing. What type of music? You could sort of generalize it as hipster music, but like, sort of okay. alternative, mm-hmm. um, indie, just around that area. So. Who are some of your musical inspirations? So musically, I'd say currently, my favorite band is probably the 1975. And apart from that, I listen to a few other artists like Tame Impala, um, Neon Indian, uh, the Format, just some obscure band. Well, the 1975 is a huge inspiration for me, both lyrically okay. and musically. Mm-hmm. and stylistically and everything regarding that. And I basically, I'd like to sort of emulate what they're kind of doing like, musically and lyrically, how there's sort of, there's an honesty and sort of just the style of the music itself. It's sort of something I've been sort of striving to achieve. Mm-hmm. Do you play any instruments? Uh, yeah, I play um, guitar, bass, I sing of course. I, I used to play violin, and I dabble in music production and stuff like that. So, uh, so you said you were in a band, right? I uh, was, yeah. You were? Yeah. And uh, what was that band called? It was um, called Elevator to Street. It was just a small little thing. Do you write lyrics for yeah. your music? Well, I think like any teenager who's into music and yeah. writes lyrics, you sort of just write about <clears throat> your angst and your problems right. and stuff like that. Yeah. But like I'd like to try to stay away from getting too like cringy or cliche or yeah. something like that. And sort of work on the words and start thinking about bigger topics. So do you feel that your music sides more with uh, what's going on in your life or bigger topics that you would like to uh, talk about? I'd say at the moment probably more centered around my life. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. What do you think about while you're performing? Well, it's, of course, it's, when I get up there, it's nerve-wracking the few times I have performed, but mm-hmm. usually I just try to calm the nerves and think about nailing the song I'm doing. Do you plan on taking singing anywhere in the future? Um, I mean, I'd like to, but of course there's mm-hmm. the whole stereotype that music isn't really a viable source of income. Or right. Anything. But like, in the future, I think this summer I'm thinking about possibly trying to record an album once I actually get some, a means of recording it, like a laptop and okay. some stuff to do that with. Do you have any experience with that? Uh, yeah, I've been um, recording stuff on my phone, um, just GarageBand on my phone for the past like year or two, so I'm looking to sort of up that. That's soon. good. Do you have any hobbies other than music? Other than music... I'm not sure if I have a ton of other hobbies. I sort of, sort of stay at home, don't do much really, other than music. It's fair. Yeah. Uh, has your family been supportive in helping you with your music career? Yeah, I'd say they've been mostly supportive, like buying equipment like guitars and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, they don't completely support like. They say I should focus on other things right, more, of course. Right, yeah. But, like, when I do, like, make a song or something, they tell me, oh, can I have that file? Yeah. You should send this to people. Yeah. So, yeah, they've been mostly supportive. Yeah, how do you spread music around if you want to get it out to people? What, through what means do you do that? And personally, I haven't done much of spreading my own music, but I think, like, ways to go, obviously, like, Facebook, social media, just right. spread the thing a bit, just getting out there and talking to people about it. Just making connections. Yeah. 
And uh, you're a junior now, right? Have yeah. you thought about maybe pursuing music in college at all? Or? I mean, I've thought about it, but I'm mostly leaning towards just doing it as my own side thing and right. pursuing something that's more dependable mm -hmm. in the future. Yeah. As for what's next for Andrew, he's currently in the process of writing and recording an EP. He was also nice enough to share with me a song he wrote called Nice.